U.S. tests nuclear missile. The Minuteman 3 intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM launch on Thursday evening was a test of nuclear deterrent readiness and message for the world, the U.S. Air Force said. The ground-based missile was fired at 11 p.m. Pacific time from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California in a routine activity intended to demonstrate that the U.S. nuclear deterrent is safe, secure, reliable and effective, according to the military. The unarmed missile carried a test re-entry vehicle, which splashed down in the vicinity of Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands, some 6,800 kilometers away. A test launch displays the heart of our deterrence mission on the world stage, assuring our nation and its allies that our weapons are capable and our airmen are ready and willing to defend peace across the globe at a moment's notice. General Thomas Boussier, the head of the USAF Global Strike Command, said in a statement, Colonel Christopher Cruz of the 370 7th Test and Evaluation Group called the test a visible message of assurance to allies and a demonstration of the redundancy and reliability of the U.S. strategic deterrent. Multiple U.S. outlets pointed out that the launch came just days after North Korea showcased its Wasong-17 ICBM launches and the U.S. Air Force shot down a Chinese spy balloon that flew across North America. Beijing has protested Washington's reaction, insisting that the aerostat was a weather device pushed off course by the atmosphere winds. The Minuteman 3 entered into service in the 1970s and makes up the ground-based leg of the U.S. nuclear triad. The Pentagon has clamoured for funding to upgrade the arsenal for years, but Congress has bought at the price tag, estimated to be in the trillions of dollars. A random missile is chosen for a test firing every few months, in what the U.S. military calls a glory trip. On several occasions, however, the tests have been rescheduled to reduce tensions, such as in August 2022, two after China reacted to the provocative visit by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan. At other times, the U.S. carries out missile tests to send a message. Last November, the Air Force used a cargo plane to deploy a cruise missile in northern Norway, intended as a signal to nearby Russia.